Rise ye ashen tarnished chosen undead and welcome souls fans new and loyal to what should be the last video of your demon souls platinum all achievements easy to follow guide in the last video it wouldn't be a new game plus plus run if the man eaters didn't gang up and kill us so that happened that was a thing and now we get to do it all again so, onward I go, to the boss, apologies, but we've just got a little bit more going before that final trophy. Uh, so I mentioned in a few of my previous videos, this is going to get you up to 34 out of 37 trophies. The last three, one of them is the platinum itself. So technically that doesn't count. The other two are both online trophies. One is for being summoned and helping a player defeat a boss. The other is for being summoned as an invader and defeating an online player. The easiest way to get these two is to know somebody else who's got the game and for them to kindly let you but well, first for them to summon you in so you can help them beat a boss and then secondly for you to get for them to summon you as an invader and for them to let you kill them that's absolutely the easiest way of getting this done the alternative is you've got to do it the hard way which is with randoms which means you're going to be placing a summon sign outside the old monk boss room. So after the man eaters where that arch stone is, we can place a summon sign there. With that there, because the old monk boss could can actually be a player summon, what happens is there is a 50-50. More often than not, the game will let play well players will summon you from that and you will be a summon player helping them. However, there is also a chance that the game will pick you up as an invader and you will be the boss for another player and that is a way that you can kill another player. But those are the only two remaining trophies that you will be left with after we defeat the old monk and we use the Golden Demon Soul to get the Homing Soul Arrow Sorcery. Something that I'm very glad that they didn't do. That One of the things that I really liked is that all the other Souls games, you are able to fully platinum without having to go online. Because player versus player, is so different to player versus environment it just never kind of sat right with me okay right we do not want to get ganged up on this time no come on drop down drop down no come on Come on. Yes, 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 we're all impressed. Come on. Drop down. Oh, you got a bit confused on that one, didn't you? Heal first. No, Mr. Snake. Okay, yes! Okay. At this point, it is only my own stupidity that can cause me to get the L. We're one on one, and we're in the middle. That's fine, that's a fair trade. I'm trying to heal, I know I don't have enough. 
Use some spice. There we go. Right, you've landed. Don't know why you tried that. That's better. What you should always do is run up. No, 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 Mr. Snake. Less of... No. Oh, okay. You can glitch through that, huh? Fine. I mean, it's not fine because you're not supposed to glitch through that. But... Don't behave. Heal. No, you don't. <gasps> no! How dare you miss? What are you doing, game? <laughs> oh, I've no way near been quick enough. Then. Oh, I've already got the Ring of Aphrodite on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So yeah, anywhere around here is where you'll place your summon sign if you are not playing with someone else who's already got the game. Over to the Nexus we go. Spend the mix, Demon Soul. Uh, and Vitality. Chuck everything you've got into Vitality. We've only got the one more fight to do. Repair. I can forge weapons. You come back alive. Bracelets, Ring of Magical Dullness, Thief Ring for the moment while we do the journey up. Uh, actually, let's go to Stockpile, Mr. Thomas, and let's get out any extra heals that we've got in storage. We do indeed. Yeah. Plenty of healing items. And onwards we go, the Ivory Tower. So this is why this cutscene exists when you step through here. So this shows you the the old monk summoning its champion and that will either be if you're offline it will always be the uh, NPC mage which uses claws and homing soul arrows whereas if you are online it will be a chance of being a player invader or that fixed in game NPC
Stop it. Thank you. Generator's ring, I guess. Yeah, as long as we've got the ring of magical dullness is the most important one. We've got our dark silver shield so that we can absorb all of the magic attacks as well. But, of course, the main hero of this fight is Dragonbone Mr. Bonky Smasher. Here we go. Run or are you gonna cast? Cast. Then run. <laughs> oh, I love this fight so much. Keep it up, you're doing great. <laughs> So close that time. Oh, smart. Not very smart. Oh, why am I trying? There's no need. We have nothing to spend souls on. We have done it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Victory roll. The golden demon soul. Let's get back to the Nexus and trade that with Freak. Learn magic, homing soul arrow with the golden demon soul. Trade. Bring me more, demon. I patiently await you. And there it is. Trophy number 34 of 37, the Sage's Trophy. And with that, you now have all 34 of the offline trophies of this game. There are only two more for you to get. And again, as a reminder, if you have a friend or anyone that you know who has the game, get them to summon you in and fight any boss with them and defeat that boss. And that will get you the return to form trophy. And then get them to put a summon sign down as an invader, get them to summon you and let them kill you for the unwelcome guest to vanquish a player as an invader. If you cannot do either of those, then go to the Ivory Tower Archstone. Place your summon sign anywhere around here and keep doing so until both an, a, a player summon where you go together and fight the boss, you'll be a blue phantom, and then as an invader, as a purple or black fan or red phantom, you will be the boss. So there's going to be a delay while they get up the stairs to you. And in an ideal world, and this happened to me on one of my playthroughs, um, the player died on their way to the boss room. One of the red mind flayers got them. That still counts because you invaded and they died. So that is the last two trophies that you need to get your platinum. Now, as 
I do all of my guides on a new account. This is an offline account. So I have got you as far as I can. But you have nothing else to do in PvE. It is now just those two trophies left. So all I am left to say is a massive thank you for following along. It has been my absolute pleasure and I hope you have enjoyed the series. Uh, you've laughed with me, you've l probably laughed at me uh, for my mistakes. I hope you've had a better journey than I have. It's not been terrible, um, but it's not been great either. So somewhere in the middle, but we had fun. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in. I would love for you to like and subscribe if you've not done so already. Dark Souls 3 is next. The prep is nearly done. The grinding has been reduced. So I can't wait to share that. Thank you so much for those of you who have asked for it. That has definitely helped encourage the content. And that's what it's all about. It's what can I do with these games that I love that will either help or entertain you, the viewers. So thank you again. Can't wait to see you all in, the, in my next videos. Thank you so much. And until I do see you in the next video, have a great day and bye for now.